Good morning, Boker Tov. How are you? It's Tuesday. Yep, it's Torah Tuesday. Yay. Glad to see you. Sun is shining. Looks like it's going to be a bright and wonderful day. A little hot in this part of the world. That's life. Okay? Okay. Let's talk some Torah. What do you think? Today's word is trust. One simple word. We ask our clients to trust us. Politicians want us to trust them. And our children want us to trust them. When God tells the Israelites that he is taking them out of Egypt and taking them to the promised land, all he asks is that the Israelites trust and God will take them to the promised land. In this week's Parsha Chukat, the Israelites are thirsty. They're oh so thirsty. So God instructs Moses and Aaron to go to a rock and speak to the rock and God will provide water from the rock. Unfortunately, Moses loses his patience with the Israelites because they won't trust in God's promises. In anger, Moses strikes the rock with his staff and the water starts to flow. Is this the instructions that gave Moses? No. Moses couldn't have misunderstood God because Moses and God have been speaking since Egypt. But God said to Moses and Aaron, because you did not trust me enough to show my holiness to the Israelites, therefore you shall not lead this community into the land that I have given them. Moses and Aaron are decreed to die in the wilderness. Rashi explains that Moses was only supposed to speak to the rock, not strike it. But Moses and Aaron were angry with the people and they struck the rock instead of speaking to it. Maimonides disagrees with Rashi. He claims that the real sin was not striking the rock, but anger. Moses and Aaron ran out of patience. When Moses struck the rock, it seemed that Moses and Aaron, not God, produced a miracle. But shouldn't the Israelites know the difference by now? I mean, really. They've seen enough miracles from God to trust that it isn't Moses doing the miracles. Who parted the Red Sea? Who gave us the Ten Commandments? Who gave us the tabernacle? Who provided the cloud following the Israelites by day and constant fire by night? Who supplied the manna when they were hungry? Moses doesn't take the credit for God's actions. He just listens to the Israelites complain again and again and again. And then approaches God with their complaints and asks for God's help over and over again always trusting God's instructions. That one simple word, all God asked the Israelites was to trust and he will take them to the promised land. That's what we need to do. We need to trust. We need to trust in ourselves. We need to trust each other. Together, we can make our world a better place for us and our children. One simple word, trust. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you learned something. Comment, like, whatever floats your boat. Okay? I love hearing from y'all. Until next week, until next Tuesday, you have a good week, have a good Shabbat, and let's try to be nice to each other for a change. Let's try it. Okay? Peace out.